Hello everyone, Sam Studios here, and welcome back to another video. This video is going to be showing my uh, modified Bachman models, and yeah, um, please keep in mind that these models are um, not technically done yet. These are just, um, I, was, I would like to say, um, what they are now. They might change in the future, so FYI. And sorry for like the low quality, it's just on a table. Um, what I'm using for the other stuff for it is this set. That. Stay tuned for that. So anyways, let's get into showing my models. The first model we're going to look at is Thomas the Tank Engine. Now this is my Bachman Thomas. Um, now this is the sound Thomas, as you can see. Um, it says analog sound right there. So yeah. Um, we're gonna walk you through him. Um, right here, um, he has a chain coupling in the front. This is only, um, three links because his buffer beam is a little bit lower than other engines. Um, he has a face, which I can take out and, um, basically move his eyes, um, wherever I want them to. So, so that I want him. So we look into the, um, left. Can okay, just stick it back on there. And yeah, uh, on the side of Thomas, I have made another modification, that um, black thing, I don't really know what it's called, but I basically used clay because I didn't want to use paint because I'm too scared of the red model, and I think it looks pretty good. Not the best from right here, but it, it will do. Same on the other side, I did this, I think one, this one's a little bit better done than that one. Um, that's pretty much it on Thomas, on the back of Thomas, um, he's a chain coupling. And I painted that part red, and he has some weathering on his cool bunker. So yeah, that's basically my block with Thomas. On to the next engine. The next engine we're going to be looking at is Edward the Blue Engine. Now this is my Edward model from Bachman. Oh, and his face just fell off. Sorry about that. Um, so basically this is Edward. Um, on the front he has a chain coupling. And I have, um, um, now, um, I have this extra lamp, and sometimes I might use it, but for now, I'm not going to use it. And keep in mind the, um, that I only have one of these, so I use it for, um, this, um, and one engine at a time. So, yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. Um, his face right here is basically kind of, like, similar to Thomas' face. I can move his eyes anywhere. I'm not gonna do it right now. So, yeah. Um, yeah. On the side, you can see some, a little bit of weathering, but you can't see it too much. Um, on the side here, um, I have some cab detail rather than just the black thing. I think it's a little bit better. I might change this to just look the best. And yeah, that's just Edward himself. Now, so he has tender. This is Edward's tender. As you can see, I did a little bit of weathering near the hole. And on the back, he has a back lamp and a front coupler for obvious reasons. Here's also another quick modification I did. I colored, I put this part black, so yeah. But Edward's tender, so yeah. So yeah, that is my Edward. And we're gonna look at the next model. One quick thing I just wanted to say, I only have one lamp and one back lamp. Um, yeah. I use them for one model at a time, so FYI. The next engine we're going to be looking at is Henry the Green Engine. Now this is my, um, Bach with Henry. So let's take a look. I'm going to put the camera a little bit that way. All right. Um, so this is Henry himself. As, as you can see on the front, I have a chain coupling. And I have a lamp right here. Um, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but I usually use the lamp for bigger engines. Um, same with Thomas. Oh, oh, his lamp just fell off. I'm just going to put that to the side. Um, same with Thomas and Edward. He has um, a face where I can basically move his eyes anywhere. So yeah, right now I'm going to keep them in those, um, that position. Um, I'm just going to lose face up. 
So, um, on the side of him, um, nothing really much. I did a little bit of weather, but you can't really see. I did towards his whistle, kind of. Um, as you guessed it, I have done some cab detail because I think it looks a little bit better than just the green thing. So, yeah. And that's basically Henry himself. Next is, um, the sender. Uh, I did a little bit of weathering to the top of the pool. You can't really see it that much. On the back, I have put a chain coupling and a back neck. So yeah, that's basically my Henry. And let's look at the next model. Nope. The next model we're going to be looking at is probably my favorite character and model is Gordon. Um, so yeah, this is Gordon. I'm going to show you him. Um, on the front of him, I have a chain coupling, pretty standard, and I would usually have a lamp here. So yeah. And on, um, this is his face, it's from a player Gordon. But the one thing I like about it is I have two expressions. This one, and this one, which I recently did. It's from a Trackmaster Gordon. Um, on the side of Gordon, nothing really much. Um, yeah. And then on the back, you guessed it, once again, I have just some, um, cab detailing. Uh, I did one before, but it was made out of cardboard and it didn't look that great. But now I, d I redone it and I think it looks a lot better. So yeah, that's basically just Gordon himself. Um, right here, I have his sender. Um, I did a little bit of weathering, you can kind of see that. Not really, I might have to do it again. And on the back, I have a um, chain coupling, which is a little bit too long. I'm going to change that and um, a back lamp. So yeah, that's uh, my Gordon, and on to the next engine. The next engine we're going to be looking at is James the Red Engine. Now it's cab kind of thing is fine. I'm gonna move him to the center. All right, let's get into James. Um, I've done certainly coupling, um, and I have a face from a Trackmaster James, which. Um, it's not the best, but it's better. I feel like it's better than the Bachman James face. Um, so right here we have um James. Uh, as you can see, his smoke box I have filled in that part with clay. I'm like, wait, what clay? Clay? Why clay? I don't want to paint it because I don't want to mess it up. So I basically just covered the whole smoke box in gray and black clay. Um, for a distance, you can't really tell, but when you're up close, like, you'll see the little textures of the clay. So, I mean, like, it's not the best, but, yeah, that's just how I like it. Oh, and, um, this part is, you know, just falls off. I'm gonna have to race that. Yeah, that's basically James. Okay, um, his tender. I've done a lot of weathering towards the top of this pole. And on the back, I have um, a back lamp and a chain coupling. So yeah. The next model is Percy. Now this is my Percy. Um, on the front, I have a chain coupling, a lamp, which just fell off. <laughs> There. Alright, so his face is like Thomas and Edward and Henry's. You basically move the eyes anywhere, in any direction. So yeah. Um, on the side, I did a little bit of weathering. Um, yeah. On the back, I colored this part um, red instead of the gray, and you can see a teeny bit of weathering. Yeah, see a little bit. And yeah, that's basically my person. And next model. Next model is Toby. Now I haven't really done any modifications to him besides um, this part and um, his chain coupling. I mean, cow catchers. Um, but that's basically all I've really done. Um, I have recently just did a space where you can look in any direction, but I don't really want to um, take it out because, yeah. So yeah, that's basically just my Toby. Um, for some weird reason, once I screwed his um, other couplings, his shell can just come off. Which is kind of weird. And if you look closely, you can see that his face is held in my foot. And you can see, yeah. That's basically Toby. And let's look at the next model. Here we go, two hands, huh? 
small, oh my god, my camera's like going everywhere. <laughs> Next one we're gonna look at is Doug the Great Western Engine. Now you can see his face is about to fall off. Well, let's just get into the model. Um, so on the model, um, I have added his face, which you can see is falling off right now. Um, his eyes can look wherever um, he wants, so I can move it in any position. So, yeah. And he also has a lamp, which I'm just about to fall off again. <laughs> It's a lamp and a chain coupling. From this view, he looks really good, for my, for my opinion. I have done some weathering to the model. Um, yeah. And on the back, I've added a back lamp, and uh, he has a chain coupling. So yeah, I'm saying it's chain coupling so much. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, that's stuck. On to the next one. Skip to 11, which is Oliver. Now, this is my Bachman Oliver. Um, he has a chain coupling, and oh, his lamp is already there, and his face can basically move wherever um, he wants, so I can move him in any direction. Um, on the sides, I have done slight weathering, but you can't really see it until he gets to the back of the model. He has a chain coupling, and his buffer's missing, but that's okay, and yeah, that's pretty much Oliver, so let's get into the next engine. Our last model is Emily. Which basically has really no modifications, besides a chain coupling, and um, her cap is kind of detailed, not the best, but yeah. And that's pretty much it. I tried to weather, um, try to weather the tender, but you can barely see. So like, what's the point? So yeah, that's Emily, and that basically shows all the models that um, I modified. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to CFCs and leave a like and comment on this video. Thanks for watching.